Hello everyone. Today I would like to color this image. This is the train depot in Encinitas, California, which used to be a train depot, but now there's a coffee shop in it. And it's been uh, put uh, in a different place. Um, so this I printed, you can see the paper has a color to it. Actually, I printed it on Hahnemühle cold pressed pastel paper. And that's what I also will use to color this image. So I'm going to use pastels. Because it, it, the paper has a color, what I'm going to do is some of the wider areas, we can actually use white pastel. So let's see how that turns out. So the train depot is actually uh, mostly yellow. Um, but let's start with the sky and let's put in some a little bit of blue. Little, I'm going to put in very subtle. Um, so let's grab this blue here and then a cotton round and pick up some of that color. It's going to be too intense if you put this directly with a stick onto the paper. So we're going to just rub this on very carefully. So I printed this with my Epson P2000, which is a big printer, but you can um, use pretty much any smaller inkjet printer to print an image like this on pastel paper or any paper really. Um, actually, no, that's not true. So pastels works best with like cold pressed papers like this pastel paper, but also watercolor paper or any like matte, matte type of paper. Because the paper needs to have some kind of tooth to it in order for the pastels to stick to it. I'm trying to, uh, there's some faint clouds here going around that so it stays bright, won't, won't get a color. See, it works pretty nice. It's not quite uniform the way I put it on, but that's fine. But I think I'm gonna go maybe stay away a little bit from the building so we're not gonna accidentally put some blue on the building but I still would like to have a, like a lighter blue very close to it like this and then some more on this side Yeah, that looks pretty pleasant. A 
let's add a little bit more on the corners here. So it's kind of more or less like there's a vignette to it. For the building itself, not exactly sure yet how to do it. So what we can do is we can do the same technique with a cotton round, especially the bigger surface here, add some yellow. But <clears throat> the thing is that yellow is going to be a little bit more opaque and we will lose some contrast in the boards here, like, like the, the darker regions between the board. And I like to have contrast in there, so could do it with a pencil, but that's going to be a lot of work if you want to avoid the spaces in between the boards. So just let's just see, maybe in a smaller area, the way that turns out. It's actually not too bad. Let's do this. And maybe later, if you want certain areas where we want a little more yellow, we'll use the pencils. On the other hand, you could also look at it if we do lose some contours and we do lose a little bit like it, this is the charm of this technique like a lot of times in older hand colored images from a long time ago there's some reduction in contrast but it's like the nature of the beast I'm doing this first and then the white on these these parts later because you can see I went over the line and got some yellow on the beams here but if you do the white later we can go over that okay that's getting a little small here so let's go to pencil. So here we go. Looks a little rough now, but I'm going to use a, a Q-tip cotton swab to smooth that out a little bit. And up here. And then these umbrellas are also yellow. I don't want to draw too much attention to them, so I'm going to add not too much to it. Actually, maybe I should have even I should have even left it untouched, but 
that's too late now. Okay. Pretty good. So let's grab that cotton swab and smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, that works pretty good. So a little bit about the train depot. Um, so it was actually the Southern California Railroad that helped develop the town of Encinitas because the, that railroad was built, was at, the building started in 1881 in National City to construct a railroad all the way to Barstow, first to Oceanside and from Oceanside to Barstow. And the, the Cottonwood Creek here in Encinitas um, provided the water for the steam locomotives that would stop here. And that helped develop the town. So in 1887, the train depot was built, modeled after the train depot in Carlsbad, California. Then in, when the car became more popular, railroad was used less. And in 1968 or 1969, the train depot, the train station closed. And in the early 70s, the, the whole thing was moved to where it is now. So now it is at the border of Lucadia and Encinitas. And it used to be close to where the, the train station now is. And now uh, Panikin Coffee and Tea occupies the building. So it's a long highway 101 in Lucadia, if you ever decide to stop by. Okay, let's grab that white now and let's see how that turns out. That's pretty cool. So we'll add back some of those whites that we lost by printing it on this tinted paper. But it's very uh, localized, which I think gives a very cool effect. here what's in the shade tricky these very small areas shade here. I still want to add a little bit.
we can still smooth that out a little bit again get rid of the harsher areas with a q-tip again thicker here want that to stand out I think that's good we don't have to do all the areas that are white but let's see if we can smooth this out a little bit here yeah that works really nice Almost gives it like a soft focus effect. adds a little bit of green in the back here let's take um, yeah this is good some of this foliage here not too crazy And then maybe use this green in the back here. And some of these plants. I want to add a very light that's, this looks like burnt sienna to me um, some of that on the on the ground here not too much That's it. So it's all done. So what we have here is a black and white photo printed on Hanemüller pastel paper, tinted, and then colored it with pastel sticks and pencils. And we also used white pastel um, to bring back some of the wider areas um, which were gone because of the tinted paper. So I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.